We were here to see the home of the father of the blues, W.C. Handy. His music introduced a vital musical form that still resonates today and helped to make him a wealthy and respected musician. Handy was born in this cabin on November 16, 1873. He grew up longing to play music. He met resistance at home. WC was interested in becoming a musician, playing blues and jazz. And his father and his grandfather disapproved. The only music they approved of was church music. And they felt that, uh, that blues and jazz would just take it to the gutter. And they considered that the devil's music. They did allow him to take organ lessons so he could play hymns but his teacher taught him more. His passion for music grew and grew. As uh, time went on, you know, they would, he would hear a little bands coming to town and <clears throat> he would slip off and go play with the band. However, his, when his, by the time his folks found out about it, uh, they just decided not to bother. Andy formed a small group and hit the road, then landed in St. Louis just as an economic depression hit. There were no jobs of any kind for Handy and his band. Debussy Handy became homeless for a while. And he said he had gotten down to just uh, a pair of trousers and an overcoat. And he was sleeping on the riverbank there in St. Louis. And this uh, one evening he said he heard this man say, I sure hate to see that evening sun go down. And so that's where uh, those words come from that uh, he put in the St. Louis Blues. I hate to see the evening sun go down. The St. Louis Blues made him famous. He toured the world and played with people like George Gershwin. But unlike many musicians, he kept the rights to his musical compositions and was able to prosper. This was especially unusual for black blues and jazz musicians. Handy died on March 28, 1954 at age 84. Over 150,000 people turned out along the route of his funeral procession as it made its way to Woodlawn Cemetery in the Bronx. The father of the blues never claimed to have invented the blues. He said he merely transcribed them and presented them to the world. We are forever in his death.